placed on yellow alert, but yesterday it was placed under red alert as reserves dropped to nearly zero due to the forced shutdown of several power plants. Let's check on the power situation in the region right now. Christina Guzman is on the line for the latest. Hi, Chris. What can you tell us? Money, the power distributor Miralco is on standby to enforce rotational power cuts and redirect supply from big users in case reserves in the Luzon grid again drop to zero. The grid is still on yellow alert, which means reserves are below the minimum level. Available capacity as of 11.40 this morning was at 8,241 8, megawatts against a demand of 7,763 megawatts. That put reserves at 568 megawatts, still below the minimum required reserves. At this point, rotational brownouts may be carried out should there be a spike in demand or if another baseload power plant unexpectedly shuts down. The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines earlier said there were no power cuts yesterday as demand tapered off later in the afternoon. The Energy Department, meanwhile, says it is closely monitoring the situation and is constantly coordinating with the NGCP and power distributors to prevent power outages. My All right, Christine, you mentioned that Meralco is on standby to enforce rotational blackouts. What would it take for the power distributor to uh, implement this, what will it take for this to happen? Would it take another red alert status uh, in the Luzon grid? That's right, my. The Luzon grid is still on yellow alert at this time, meaning there are still reserves, but these are below the minimum level. Once reserves hit drop to zero, the power distributor Miralco may implement rotational power cuts. My. All right, thank you, Christine de Guzman. They're reporting to us on the line from Taguig City.